Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Viewers of Eternity. Oh, Gwen needs to level up. Okay. Wow. I, I just have to show you this, guys. These skills are amazing. Okay. Uh, this thing dazes and confuses. Oh. Dazed for 16 seconds. And this makes them prone for... 11 seconds. So we're gonna take this and this. Burns away the eternal snow that holds together the mind, body and soul of the target. Enemy cones they get to rapidly take road damage. Targets that have their endurance reduced to zero disintegrate into non-existence. I just want to take this. She looks amazing, doesn't she? Okay, that's it. I actually am tempted to go and to recruit the other cipher. The way when mother was it code. Why? Well, why not? It's a human, we like humans, and let's go. Okay, from here, why am I wearing a hood? That gives you stealth and persuasion, intelligence and might. Okay, take this back. Yeah, he looks better with the hood, but we're gonna take this. I'm gonna give this to our ranger for now. No, we're just gonna keep it here. Enjoy seeking the justice. Uh, judicious application of pain has loosened the tongue of our informant. Alright. Well, we'll see that thing. Okay, you're gonna wear this for now on. Just for now. Would you like to wear this, mate? He actually looks good in it, but no, we're going to keep it like that. Okay. Because I've gotten used to, food was the hardest adjustment. Quite agree. The Odian oversold everything and drawn it in sauce. And they burn out all the flavor. Nothing like raw deer funk. Oh, those guys and their food that can poison th people. Okay, uh, actually, what quest should we do this time around? Let's see. The White March. This might be a little bit lighter. Man is roosting in Hylia's temple and it has scattered her worshippers. I've been asked with facing this threat. In the mountains, supposed to be themselves? Yeah, well. well has a great trouble with me, okay? Dunrit Row would seem to be a promising place to go as its cipher agents specialize in this sort of work. Dunrit Row. I can go for the master below as well. Okay. Another vision. This time he was deep in the woods, running towards the Adra Ark. Okay, let's go and uh, seek him out before we do anything else. Come on, people, run faster. Should we go to Sweet Nua first? Actually, speaking of Sweet Nua, any tasks that need to be filled? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, we're fine then. Well. That was weird. Yan Moon Field. Hmm. Let's go to Elm Shore first, then we'll go. Dawood Village. There are so many forests here. Okay, let's see if it's in Elm Shore. I do think there was an something there that I was curious about. Can be mistaken here. Okay. I'm sure cave. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I think I was talking about this one. Crucial point in our travels, I believe they said. Let's go on stealth. We don't want them to see us if there are any enemies that just jump out. Yeah, let's assign Gerald to this one. He'll be done in two days. No worries at all.
So Yeah, I know. That's what I was uh, thinking actually. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything here though. Come on people. Okay. Right left time we reach Pulp, but I saw another vision, and this time he was deep in the woods running towards the another arc. So this is the other arc. I don't see any spirit and stuff. We need to scout it up a little bit. Come on. He's not here. Absolutely nothing. Okay, um... Okay, come on. Where is that thing? Should be on a spirit form or something, I think. Well, let's pass the bridge and see if he's in on the other side then. Oh, wait. Adrarch. Genius. And now we know what an arc is. Okay, let's speak with this ghostly thing. Anadra arc looms in front of you, just as you saw it through Pasok's eyes. Sagni turns watching the three for a moment as the arc shadows falls over you. The wooden shore fades into a different scene. You stand in another forest. Black and bare trunks claw their way out of the soil and keep solemn vigil over the young trees and tender shrubs. You move slowly throughout the woods and the ruins scatter throughout them. Stone pillars or broken arcs show the bones of some destroyed buildings. Between the admist it all are elves and orlands, their faces painted and their brows drawn. Okay, I've seen the next location. Okay, let's say burn trees, crumbling ruins. I am absolutely sure I know where this is, by the way. I've seen the next location then. I will follow you. She counts the arrows as her quiver before... Okay, adjusting the weight on her shoulder. I always get strange feeling near the end of the hunt. Like an itch of a... Uh, on the end of my nose. I feel like we're close. Are you disappointed? Not at all. After all, th this time, a part of me had already accepted that I'd never find him. That I'd be stuck wandering like this forever. To be honest, you're one of the more interesting companions, so I'm not gonna kill you in the end of the journey. She looks at you out of the corners of her eyes. I'll admit, I didn't believe you at first. Still didn't until now. What changed? I haven't spent this much time around anyone since the long hunt in Nastikak. But uh, I've gotten to know you, seen how you deal with Keth. Whatever else you turn out to be when we find the tales, you're honest. I know you wouldn't lead me astray this. Yeah, you should have met the other guy who believed in me. What I mean is, thanks. No one's done this much for me in a very long time. Feels almost like... I am part of a birch again. Okay, uh, good question. Okay, what do you do after we finish this? She runs her hand over a smooth, jasseled surface of her arc. She has a children, I know what she's gonna do. After five years, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Rosok has moved on, and while I'm out here, he wonder if Masuk is carrying on as normal. And it will be the case whatever I come back having found Pasok or die out there. To be honest, I'm not sure uh, what that means for me. Okay. 
She thumps Anadre well with the heel of her hand. But I am getting ahead of myself. First, we've get, uh, got to find Pasok, as well as your quarry, Marco. Should give me some time to figure out what I'll say to him. What do you think you'll tell him? I guess it depends on who he is now. I'd like her to think that traveling for five years entitles me to give him a solid earful about all of it. But that really matters to someone in Pasok's position. The village he left behind. The family I likely won't remember. Okay, I'm sure you know what to do. You sound like my mother on my wedding night. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Here's to finding co our men soon. Onwards. Onwards. We're in this cave already. So, ruins, you say. He goes with a group of uh, Glanfanian hunters. Well, we're gonna find him, I'm pretty sure. It'd be hilarious if I already killed him. Anyway, let's uh, speak. To... The Ford Village, yep, let's go there. And here we are. Ooh, nice. A bridge. Okay, let's go speak with the mother figure there. No reason to slow down. Okay, we have a lot of companions. Which one should I leave? The wizard? Dalot is helping me a lot in goats. The only one we are not having much uh, problems with is Sengi. Let's see. You were supposed to be a cipher, I assume. Hey, grandmother. The peasant woman waits uh, still. Her head is down, her face motionless. But you feel a thought welling up in her mind. Assemble the thoughts. Do you wish to travel with me? If you feel a wave of fear guessed with a straight of relief, although oddly her expression does not change. Then fear disappears and you feel straight and internally as if plateau from her memory lies beneath you and the calm sky looks down on you. Okay. As she's a cipher. Should I leave my paladin? I can't leave my fighter. Okay, let's leave the mage behind. Yeah, let's leave the mage behind. She gained some levels. When I first encountered Grey Mother on the road, I experienced a dream, or was it a memory, of childbirth? Well, do you have anything to say? Oh, sorry. Oh, wow, she's extremely pale. To be honest, I really like the portrait here and not so much this one here. Okay, let's give her some little bit uh, more armor. She has a ballistas or a crossbow, I don't know what should I call it. I'm gonna give her this pistol. What kind of a dagger is that? Fine dagger. Oh wow, we really need to get you a better weapon. White looks good on her. What does that give you? Fine petted armor. Okay, this goes. So, like I said, do you have anything to say? Because I am going to low you up a little bit. So when you right click on her, Oh, wait a second. Huh, guess I forgot to close that. And it still opens. Who knew? So, where should, could I talk to them? I don't think I've talked to them that much to my companions. It doesn't matter. Your mind comes bearing question, Watcher. I had a question for you. Uh, okay. Let your mind speak of you. I shall listen past the words. Right. I want to trace a man who might have touched this item. Okay. 
still sun. Look, I appreciate you taking the initiative, but I don't think there's much chance that this nice stranger lady happens to be a cipher. You will do what I can, but I will need the skill of a watcher to wait my own, to identify the soul once I have found its traces. She turns to Ether, her hand outstretched. Ether hands her the steel sun. The motion is mechanical, unconscious. So wait, I needed to recruit this woman in order to complete that quest. The Green Mother takes the sun in one hand and yours in the other, and you can feel her presence in your mind. Her thoughts binding you to relax, focus, she says. The words rever uh, reverse as if though an endless chasm. You close your eyes, concentrate. The sun is bright in your mind. Uh, in your mind's eye, warm with the pulse of collective experience and noise with the thoughts of the past, of battle, of fate, of home. You drift from voice to voice throughout th th thoughts. Ether souls vibrant signatures with which to locate his brother. One voice stands out amidst the din. Bressy enters the shade, brightened then ushers up, uh, but unmistakably the same con uh, construction. You have no image on its own. Oh, sorry, you have no image on its owner. But this journey is, imp is uh, imprinted within the points of the curves of the steel sun. In your mind it opens before you as a path stretching both southwest to Gilded and northwest over the uneven terrain that joins the Dalwood and Red Creates. You trace the path back to its origin, far back as you can find in over panes in the hill stream, to one room home in Gilded Vale, with edge roof and drift floors. The path is faint there, its distance in time, rendering images blurry and details scarce. From Gilded Vale, it follows a road towards Manheim Bridge, reaching the gates of Defiance Bay before delivering abruptly, cutting northwest and blink for Red Cress. The path reads to Recreon City, Regio, Ulstrin, in Eldrian Impulse style. It winds through the stairs of climb the grand set of strains into steadily building, passing through pointed arcways into what appears to be a throne room. Upon throne sits a man whose hair is spur blinding light. As the gaze turns to you, the light drones out all else. His voice carries the force of thunder, but its words are impossible to make out in the imprint Echoes of Echoes. Ooh. That sounds amazing. The voice and light fade, the path bends backward, carrying you along to a back barracks, when back southward marching into the wood and skirmishing along the way. You know it would be awesome if I can recruit Asha's brother. I don't think you can, though. Upon our battlefield, the imprint is vivid, and you see Red Queen standing dropped with steel sun clutching in its hands of a fallen soldier. You see a young man in that green armor with other straw colored hair. Oh, I was hoping he would look more like Od uh, What was the name of the guy? Roderick Then Asher, but whatever. Straw colored hair raised towards the standard and lifted. The path you've been following clear to see beneath its feet, and as his hands brush the steel tip, you can hear his thoughts reaching in blur. They are on the god and this country and brother, he hopes, is far away from this place. In an instant, the thoughts are gone, as well as the man, and the standards is passed to another soldier. You pick the path up, again, it is Mandarus south and disintegrates in the shadow of clear green Raylak. You open your eyes, we know where this place is, at least. I think you look like you were working real hard there. You bought a grot far as the fans bed before turning to Red Crayons instead. He met World One there, then he enlisted. What he talked about with Widwin. Whiteman's head was a beam of light. Figure that. Wouldn't me that I had heard enough stories from the uprising to know it wasn't just some tall tale. Doesn't mean he was Eotheus. Could have been some wizard's trick. Is that uh, they talk about the important? What they say? I don't know. That's not funny, come on. Metal Sun, my brother touched it. You saw where he went. Uh, now, what did he talk about with Woodwin? Why'd my brother fight for Dreadcrest? 
I am sorry, but there is nothing more I can tell you. His voice is barely whispering. Guess that is it. Oh, find some other way to know why he did that. What he did, yeah. I actually care about this guy now. I don't think well, we will. And a uh, new look has come over Asher's lifeless and the of his ash. What would we do? Look for more war relics. We were lucky to find this one. The soldiers that fought with him are long dead. The battle was massacre. Whatever Atos knows, he's not talking to anyone. I can go now. I've seen what I need to see. Alright, you leveled up. Oh, that was the quest, I guess. Next! Should we go with this one? Hmm. Hunter Brother. At the mercy of the tribes. Well, there are some tasks we need to go. The Blade of Endless Path. There are two quests of Endless Path. We might return there, actually. I don't know how long the Endless Path is, but I guess it's long. It's called Endless. Okay. Kai Priest Yoto has been accused of descending gravestones, uh, killing crucible knights sent to stop him. There is bounty on his head. The climate, I travel to Eston Wood and put it stop crimes. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break here. Next time we're gonna complete a new quest and I'm actually glad we found this woman. And I'm going to level her up. So, see you then. Goodbye.